G'day guys, welcome back to Fishing with Nick. Today we're at, uh, today we're at Kingston Beach and we're going to be attempting to do a catch and cook today. Now I've had a had a request from someone to do a catch and cook and I thought it'd be a good idea to do one. So we're going to try and catch a couple of flatties. It's winter so probably not going to get, our chances are greatly decreased of getting one but uh, that's alright, we can still try. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be using some more soft plastics and some bait today to try and catch our flatties. Now, if we do catch it, we'll take it home. Well, if we do catch some flatties, we'll take them home and cook them up. So, hope you enjoy this video, guys, of me attempting to catch and cook a flathead. got away from us. It's very disappointing. And we've got another one on this rod. Doesn't feel too big but he's a fish. Oh he's fish number one no and he's gone and then we don't have a fish on well that was a complete and utter fail guys we had two fish on now we've got none this feels like a decent fish guys Could be our size flooded. He's in the boat. Alright. There we go. That was almost instantaneous, guys. Great. Got a fish on the moors. Just under, guys. Just under. How very disappointing. Alright guys, so I didn't get it on camera, but I've caught a sized fish of my own. He's only just 32, but that's good enough for me. And then we has got a fish as well, which is pretty confident that it's sized. So I'm going to go over to him and check if it's sized. And if it Actually, no, he's not even, he's big fish, but he's not 30. Yeah. Alright guys, so we've come back from our flathead fishing at Kingston Beach. And we've got these two lovely little flatheads, so we're going to fillet them. So where this 
first finis here and with the second finis in the middle just here I like to cut right down to the backbone oh <gasps> got a bit of a jitter <laughs> scared me a bit right so there will be benefits to cutting through here which I'll explain later on so then what I like to do is just follow the back well oh, no I didn't go right down so we need to follow it right along the back right along the backbone I'm making an absolute meal out of this, guys. Alright. Doesn't matter. I think we're back on track. And you just follow it. Right along. So that should give you a little fillet there. So then... Where this fin is remaining, there's this little bit here where you can peel the skin off. So you grab that and then you just tear it away. There we go. Skinned him. And then what I do, I run my fingers up along here until I feel the last bone, which is here. Then I make a small incision there. And I just follow that up along there. Now, you will lose a lot of meat during it with this, but... It turns into bait, but then the the big bit here will then turn into bait, which will provide us with more fish. So it's a small sacrifice. A little bit there. And then you just feel around for little bones and then pick them out when you can feel them. This can be very, very fiddly. All right, guys, so depending on how many fish you've got is dependent on how much of these things you use. So for the first, so to crumb them, firstly, you put two eggs in Oh, sorry, uh, no, you do it the other way around, sorry. You put in a bit of flour, and then you do an egg wash, and then you fin um, finally roll it up in some bread um, breadcrumbs and spice mix. So just grab a bit of flour, and then put her in there. Next step is to crack open two eggs and then mix them up. That's about good. So the egg helps it helps the uh, the breadcrumbs stick to the fish. And then lastly, you will pour in some breadcrumbs or 
If you don't have breadcrumbs, you can just crunch up some cornflakes and put them in. And then... Mum, can I use the rest of these spices? Right. And then you can just put in, in any spices that you want. Or like salt and pepper. But personally, I don't like the fishy flavour, so I like to kind of overpower it, overpower the fishy flavour with spice. Yeah, that's about good. So then, get on to the other stuff. So you dip. Fill it in the flour. Just cover it all. Probably put a bit too much flour in, but it's all right. Then you stick her in the egg wash. Try to cover it all. And then, lastly, you put it into the breadcrumbs. The egg will help the uh, the breadcrumbs really stick to the fillet so making it even more crunchy and crummier all right and guys that's what a finished crumb fillet looks like so now we'll repeat that with the rest of them Now we get on to the cooking stage. So turn up your heat settings to about seven because you don't really want the fish to burn too much. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shallow fry the flathead. So what I like to do is put a bit of butter in first, a bit of butter. Just a little bit more. A little bit more wouldn't hurt. Right now, you will put in a good amount of oil. Alright, and I'll come back to you guys. So, you know this is ready when the oil starts bubbling. So, I'll come back to you guys when it's ready. Alright guys, so if if you think it's if you think your um, oil is ready, a great way to check is to just drop a bit of the, the crumb in. And if it sizzles and bubbles, if it bubbles around, then... It's ready. So these fish, this fish is ready to go in. All right, guys. So a side of the, so these fish will be done. So these fish will be ready to flip when this side, the side that is cooking, is nice and golden brown. So I'll come back to you guys when it's golden and brown. Right guys, so this fish is nice and golden brown, so I'm gonna flip it. Right, this one just needs a little more time. Right guys, so because the pan's already really hot, some of these pieces aren't gonna need much. So this guy's nearly done. Guys, nearly done. Guys, doing well. 
Right guys, so in a matter of about oh, one and a half hours we've turned this into this. So So thanks guys so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh you enjoyed this catch and cook of some flathead that I caught down at Kingston Beach. It was uh, very fun and the fish is very tasty. So thanks for watching Fish and Nick and we'll see you next time.